Hey folks, Phil B Man here. I thought it would be pretty useful to just summarize the story so far in all these trials. I'm having trouble keeping it square in my own head, so I imagine that you folks uh, that are sort of dropping in and out are even more confused. So let's just go over things oh, so far. So in the fall, I did a trial. I had a deck of cards and I randomly assigned those cards to highs in a bee yard and I applied either no treatment to clubs, to spades, I gave a thymovar treatment, hearts got apovar, and diamonds got apolite var. And we, let's face it, we struggled to find mites in those. I probably should have picked maybe a yard with, done a little pre-scouting and found more mites somewhere. But in the end, we did find that we had no detectable mites in any of the treatments, but we found a 2% mite level on those controls. So then we thought about, aha, well, we've got a known level of mites in these controls. Let's play with this during the winter. So we put a bunch of hives on screen bottom boards, and we had six of the control hives, the ace of clubs, the two of clubs, three of clubs, the king, queen, and the jack of clubs. And we gave two of them half a formic strip, two of them Apolife VAR, and two of them Thymovar. Now those were the treatments that appeared to have worked in the fall, although maybe I should have done, uh, there's, we have more thinking to do about this. But anyway, those were treatments that we thought we had shown to work. And the only, and we put sticky boards under those and the only uh, result we got, we got three mites on a sticky board for the three of clubs, which was this Apolife VAR method. The rest of them, we found no mites. We also took uh, some more hives from this fall trial, and we did a OAV test. My neighbor brought over his um, his homemade uh, oxala vaporizer, and we did four hives. And uh, after, uh, I think it was four days, I left those sticky boards in. We found two mites in the seven of clubs, eight mites in the three of clubs, no mites in the diamonds. Now that all kind of agrees with what we thought we'd expect here. But then, uh, just to fill up the pellet, I grabbed one hive, uh, that was kind of an oddball and uh, just a random, you know, uh, the, probably the last hive that went in the shed, it was on a pellet by itself. And we knocked down 77 mites. So that gets you thinking, well, if 2% in the fall only gives you two or three mites, and of course zero leads to zero, what the heck would that hive have been in the fall if I sampled it then? So we can think either we happen to find a hive with really outrageous mite levels or possibly the test was skewed in some way. So we probably have to repeat this test with larger numbers of hives. The other thing we want to do is figure out like what's a normal number of mites to find on a board if you have an effective treatment. So I took... Um, eight hives, I don't have 20, eight hives, the top level of the stuff that's on the screen bottom boards, and we did two things. We took mite samples in, uh, or uh, not mite samples, bee samples in jars with the bee sucker. So those are bees taken off the top bar, and we'll wash those right away, and we'll get results on that. And then we put uh, sticky boards in to see what kind of mite drop we got. Now, you know, will these look like that or will they look like that? What's, what's normal? And of course, lingering in the background is the potential risk that the Apovar treatment also isn't effective either because it's during the winter when there's not as much movement of the bees or because uh, of the risk of resistance having built up. Uh, the hive, 
those hives. Well, some of them, there would be the odd one that did have apovar in the fall, but most of them will not have. So we'll see. Okay, so that's those. So the question we're trying to figure out is, what's a normal mite drop on an effective treatment? Uh, were any of these treatments effective is kind of the two things we're trying to figure out here. Okay, with that being said, let's start uh, washing some bees and see what we get. Okay, so washing bees. First of all, I have a calibrated uh, measuring bottle here uh, that uh, one time when we didn't have anything to do, we counted out hundreds of bees and added them to the bottle. So we, that levels about 300 bees, a little less. And so most of these samples are gonna be two or 300 bees. So to get a percentage, you know, you would go at least half of what you find. And I'm gonna use my bench top method here where we're gonna pour the sample after shaking through a strainer, which then would isolate the mites on this filter. So, uh, and these uh, were collected two days ago, so uh, the bees have had a chance to kind of loosen up. They're good and dead. The mites should be loose. We will pour this through the strainer. And then to be thorough, we'll swish this around a bit so that any uh, mites that are loose in there can fall through the bees into the strainer. And I think we see some mites. We do indeed. Okay, so let's see if we can get this on camera. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I see about fifteen. And that was a three. To show you how I'm going to record this here, the three of clubs, fifteen mites. Okay, next we've got to make sure we get all those mites off of that filter without putting any, contaminating the uh, sample material because I'm going to want to reuse that. So we've got to get this thing dumped off. So I'll have to pause each time while I go and rinse this out. Okay, clean filter. This one's the three of hearts. Three of hearts. I gotta remember to write, to estimate the uh, B count down as well. This is definitely a smaller sample than the last one. It wasn't always super easy to get uh, those bees. Some of those clusters were pretty deep. Maybe some of the hives are smaller. And that is no mites. Clean as a whistle. That's the way we like them. Okay, that's probably about 200 bees. That's the jack of clubs.
Ta. No mates. Ten of diamonds, probably, where's my, you know, that's, could be as many as 400, but most likely it's about 350 bees. Nothing. It's a jack of hearts. That's a fairly thin sample. I'm going to call that 150. One, one lousy mite right there. That thing. There she is on my finger. Oop. So. One. Interesting, but not necessarily statistically significant. Two samples left. Two of spades. And you always got to check your jar. Look at that. Oh, that one's on... That one's on the outside. What the heck happened there? Whew. Who knows? How oh, we got a mite. That, I wonder if I flicked that off of my finger just now. See, I always look on the inside of the jar to make sure I'm not leaving some mites behind. You'd think, you know, I've got hardly any mites. That's part of the problem with this research is they don't have enough damn mites. And to find one on the outside of the jar, what the heck is going on with that? Okay, we've got a few here. One, two, three, four, five. That was the two of spades. Five mites, that's about 200 bees. A 
Last one, three of spades. Larger sample, let's call that 300 bees. And we got some mites here too. One. Let's just wax there. Two, three, four, five. Well, let's try it again. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, just in case you weren't keeping track at home, three of spayet clubs, which was one of the controls, 15 mites, or about 5%. Jack of clubs, also a control, no mites. 10 of diamonds, no mites. Jack of hearts, one mite. Two of spades, five mites, or about 2.5%. Uh, and, and a three of spades, five mites on more bees, so it's probably more like, you know, one and three quarter percent or something. So, you know, interesting. Now, what I'm hoping is that when we look at the sticky boards next, then we will have some kind of, you know, that we would find more mites on this sticky board than we do say on this one uh hopefully we find and and no mites on these that have no mites here right and remember i sucked those bees off the top bars we don't know if that's if that is a good way to take a sample my i doubt it to be honest uh, i think those mites like to be right in the middle of the cluster where it's all warm and happy and safe and so the bees that came to the top of the cluster uh, probably undercounting, so these levels might be lower than we would expect to find in the hive as a whole. All right, I'm going to filter this material, clean it all up, and put it back in the jugs for next time. And uh, I think we'll leave it there for this video, and the next one will be sticky board results.